Right, so uh, this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and as well Gemini Rising. A weekly general tarot reading uh, April 13th to April 19th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website. Uh, from which you can purchase such and as well uh, if you're interested in Sutaro and you like the way I read and you want to learn to read the same way I'm also offering online courses in which I'm going to explain you the major arcanas in six sessions live sessions that is uh, Referring to them how you are to interpret them in terms of career in terms of relationship negative meaning positive meaning and, and how to in generally take on them in a uh, term of how they sit in a dedicated spread um, So that being set aside moving to the uh, Weekly spread straight away now the first card which stands at the topic of your week is going to be the seven of wands Followed by the next one here, which stands as the energies that are gonna feed and support your topic in your situation that will be the eight of pentacles moving next we have the uh, challenges that you have to overcome here that is to be the king of pentacles furthermore we do have uh, the gifts and the blessings of uh, that you can enjoy throughout the week that is going to be the two of swords followed by the impression that you're going to leave into the people around and that is very very important card here judging by the first three that will be the world one and the last but not least, which is the guidance that Tsaro is offering. Well, that's a, that's a big one, guys. Uh, now that, that is a game changer here in this uh, in this spread. Because uh, it be, be, before that card, the spread looked like that you have to pretty much bust your ass in order to, you know, to impress somebody. But that's not the case. Um, as we do have the King of Cups here, it does look like that somebody is already impressed by you. It is just you are not impressed by them. That that's uh, that's the point here. Anyway, so uh, let's move to the first. And uh, now that makes sense because I was a bit baffled with the first couple of cards. Okay, but it's now with the last one coming into the spread, it all makes sense. All right. So. Um, we have the first two here, which are the energies, and then we do have the topic. So with the energies, those energies are going to make you very, I would say, suspicious in the sense of that, um, how can I describe it? Whatever you are up to something or whatever something is uh, is manifesting within your life, you would always would like to have it in a better way. Okay, so it's like throughout the week, you are to stray for perfection even if the thing that you are developing either career or either relationship one or either in in relationship it's it's perfect you would still want to be even better than that that is for a reason being that those energies themselves are going to push you to attend to the things with uh, a, a huge sincerity in the sense of that you would want to see them in their purest form for example love to be seen in the uh, and to be manifested in its purest form you know success into career to be manifested in its purest form therefore not to, not to have any kind of like leftovers uh, or or surreptitious intentions in it uh, and these kind of stuff so the whole thing speaks for some sort of a conscientiousness that you're going to expect from whatever you're doing into uh, into your week and whatever it is manifesting there and that is the main issue, the main cause that the week is going to be a bit, how can I say it, a bit nervous in the sense of that you are to be addressed with um, either a certain proposition or a certain helping hand. And where I'm coming from, it doesn't come from these cards, it comes from the next cards, but I just have to touch it right now so it all makes sense. Because otherwise I'm going to talk just abstractly about things and at the end it is where I'm going to serve you the real information and that is, it's just is going to be a boring reading anyway. So uh, yeah, you are to be addressed <clears throat> once again with that someone who wants to help you with something even though you may not need that help. It's just that person wants to kind of like shine out in front of you because they like said beforehand, you have impressed in, you have impressed them in one or another way. <clears throat> and so that uh, manifests itself through the situation here, which is the seven of wands and the card 
points, it is the rarest um, representation of the card, but it points that you are to be tempted, outworthy, to, to jump, how can I say it, to establish a, a new domain, okay? So, it, in other words, to loosen a little bit the grip that you do have on your current domain, so you can attract or you, you can step on a new domain through the helping hand or through the offer. And the way that I do suspect that is going to happen, uh, especially with the energies having it into the uh, Eight of Pentacles here. Eight of Pentacles usually, when it manifests, it gives you, it's not a breakthrough, it's more like an opening, you know, something that, it, because breakthrough it's when you toil over a thing and it doesn't want to work out, you know, and you are suddenly, you know, have a, a, a progress. While opening, at least in my cl classification, is that you thought of doing something, but you have not started yet. And now through the offering, through the helping hand, you do have the opportunity to establish a, a goal or the opportunity to start executing a plan that took you a bit of a time to develop. And uh, however, it will kind of like be, it will look suspicious because it comes out of nowhere, you probably don't know very well that person, you probably think that, you know, they they do have something in mind, um, in a sense of their personal uh, benefits, and they do. Uh, however, their personal benefits from this uh, helping hand that they're going to give you, or from the offer that uh, they are shooting you with, I, it does not come from you. What I mean is that they will benefit from the circumstantial, uh, cir not circumstantial, but collateral circumstances of um, of your progress. Okay, so your progress is going to be your own, and nobody is going to take what you what you have worked for. But just the circum the collateral circumstances that it creates, it just favors that person, and that's why they're using you like a tool. But in the same time, you are a tool for them and they are a tool for you. However, you're not going to see it that way, at least at the start. You may think that they are trying to uh, throw you under the bus, that they are trying to, um, I don't know if you do have that impression, but uh, slide, you down the, uh, slide you down the road. It's like, you know, to pretty much uh, use you for their own personal means. While it is true, it is not like they are using you on your own expense, you are using each other. And that is the uh, that is the challenge that you will have to overcome here, which is the challenge of the King of Pentacles. Now, King of Pentacles, like said many, many times in these general readings, it is that these are very generous people by nature. The thing is that their generosity, it's not a charity. So they always expect something in return. And your challenge here is to become attuned that um, whatever they do have in return, it is not from your domain. So your domain just creates the predispositions for them to have what they want. And you are their bridge to what they want. But in generally, whatever you have win or whatever you are to accomplish, through their help or uh, through their offer is going to be your own to enjoy. Um, one more thing about the King of Pentacles, they are very self-absorbed people, meaning that they are quite proud of what they have been created for themselves. Usually they are well-established, well-situated uh, people with resources. So the worst thing you can do is to question their capabilities. Okay. And another, and another thing about the King of Pentacles, it is that they are, um, well, they're kind of like a meticulous when it comes to uh, establishing current zone. So what I mean is that they never go for something new unless they are more than certain that they are going that they ain't going to lose anything okay from what they currently have and as well that they are not almost certain that they can uh, they can push it through so whenever they my point here is that whenever they uh, propose you they pretty much have a pretty solid plan and they do always already have the means to get there it is just they need your probably efforts and they need your uh, your incorporation into the matter so uh, that uh, leads us to the next one here, which is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week. Uh, pretty good card for you guys. It kind of offers you or gives you the 
gifts and the blessing of peace and inability to make our own choice. It's, it's just as simple as that, okay? So you're gonna have the, it's not like you're gonna have the tendency, but whenever you are baffled throughout the week, okay, the, the wrong choices are gonna drop off like flies for you until, until only one stands there, which is the obvious right decision for you to make. So to me, it looks like a pretty good week to forge alliances, okay? Because uh, with this gift and blessing, it looks like that the right alliance is going to be presented in front of you. And under a, a right alliance, I mean the right person for a establishing relationship or the right medical doctor if you need a medical attention, the right lawyer, um, the, li the right a business consultant as well, uh, the right business partner, the right social circle and etc etc so it's a, it's a, a tremendous week where you are to forge alliances not to mention that as well that could be um a person who shows uh, for example a true intentions like a true love the right person who shows true intentions and true love for you so that's also something that you need to consider but someone may shoot you with an offer you know for example to be with you and uh, you may think that that's kind of like tricky thing they do have something in mind and while they do uh, it's a circumstantial how could, not circum oh my god a collateral circumstances but in generally their intentions are a pure uh next one is going to be the uh impression that the people have in front of you have towards you and that is the quite important card here it pretty much points that this person king of pentacles kind of sees you as a uh, um, not exactly complete individual but someone who is up for the task someone who is ready it is uh, what i was uh, trying to say here to take on the endeavor and, and simply perform into it not not to mention that they are finding that this thing is going to be interesting for you and as well is going to give you uh, something to hold on into in a sense of like it's going to be a, a new chapter, something that is going to keep your mind occupied as well. Okay, and in generally, we could safely say here with the world card that they kind of find it. I that's good that that, that is your uh, natural progression moving forward into the future. But once again, that is how they see it now. That, that this doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to see it that way. However, another thing with the world card it is that they will kind of like uh, feel no need to deceive you in any way. So whatever they propose with uh, with this card, it's a lot, once again said it's going to be sincere and the truth also, uh, which gives you the how can I say it the the benefit to uh, let's say to establish a demands or rules or or say or in other words to um shape your end of the bargain your end of the deal and that way you are to know that this deal is going to be fulfilled moving forward into the future uh and the last one uh it will be the king of cups which is the guidance the tarot is offering to you. And there is uh, only two words or kind of like one sentence that I can say with this card. It's pretty clear here that either it is a, a helping hand or a, a, pro a proposition or an offer that comes to you, which is going to be quite of a tempting one. There is no need to turn it down and no need at all. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the guidance for you. So whatever comes to you as an offer, helping hand, proposition throughout the week, it's meant to forge a very very strong alliances for you, Gemini. So that being said, guys, this was your weekly general tarot reading. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And uh, if you are into tarot you want to learn how to read and you enjoy the way that i do it uh, you can sign up for my uh, online tarot classes and uh, in them in a live session so i'm going to explain you the tarot cards in the beginners course the major arcanas in term of career in term of relationship how to take on them and how to interpret them how to take on them in a negative or a positive way and how they stand as well in uh, a dedicated tarot spread for the classes 
that you can after that use by reading only with the major arcana. So that being said, hopefully you're going to stay safe now and uh, see you next time. Until then, bye.